Hey everybody, I'm Danny here today at the Mushroom Build working on this mushroom maker and we have some updates for you. If you haven't gone back and seen the first video, go check it out. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some specific issues we had when we tried to grow pink oyster mushrooms. So for the pink oysters, we case fruited them. So that means we grew them basically flat and we tried to, to fruit them upwards. They did not work out very well. They started pinning really nicely, but then they kind of just flopped over and died. And we aren't sure specifically what caused it. We thought it might be the humidity or the airflow. We weren't really sure. So we were looking to you guys to help us figure out what went wrong. All right, Zachary M19 on CoCreate says, hello, I'm a gourmet and medicinal mushroom farmer in Central California and says that pink oysters prefer to be side fruited, that we need more air exchange. And he also said that the humidity needs to be at 99%. That's great to know we did not side fruit these and that might explain what happened and why they didn't end up growing that well. Uh, Rob Gordon on YouTube says, mushrooms don't bud or flower, but I love the build. You are right, Rob. We are not expert mushroom growers. I do apologize for that. Chachachaya says, uh, it's a lack of fresh air exchange. So that's good to know. Seems like there's some consensus there. Uh, Ron God 666 says, this is usually caused by an excess of CO2. Um, so that kind of ties back into the air exchange thing. So I think we've got a, a repeating theme here we can address. So on the new build, some of the things we're tackling are the water tray. You can actually see it down here in the base. It holds the evaporation media. One of the challenges we have with this is obviously making a watertight container. The cool thing about vac forming is that you get a continuous smooth surface all the way around. And so to make something like this, you machine out a tool. In this case, we made a, a pretty large tool out of solid MDF. Uh, MDF works because it's porous. So when you go to vac form it, it actually sucks all the air through the entire surface of the tool. And then this piece gets drawn in to that exact form. So this is how we make uh, thermoformed parts here at First Build. Um, and this works perfect for this purpose. Something else we're playing around with on this build is uh, this electronics board. We're trying to keep it modular and easy to update and easy to change. So it actually comes off uh, as a separate piece that uh, we can easily swap once the unit is out in the field. It's actually a, a pretty simple control. We're using a Raspberry Pi down here and we're using a, a Grove Pi hat that goes on top of it. And that communicates with each of these MOSFET boards to regulate the fans and the lights and all the control parameters inside the unit. Because the previous unit was a prototype, it didn't have all the approvals and necessary requirements to actually ship out and to go into somebody's home, but this unit will. So one of the big differences between the last unit and this unit is this unit is actually going out to one of you guys to help us co-create this product. Uh, we're gonna continue making iterations on this platform for the future. Um, if you're interested in being a part of that process, check out the description below. Uh, there'll be links to our mailing list and our co-create site where you can come and participate with us. Thanks for watching.